So there always comes a time when you're ready to progress your workouts. So I'm going to show you some ways to increase the difficulty of your workout. If you always stick to the same routine, eventually your body's going to adapt and you're going to find yourself in a plateau. So let's talk about how to bust through these plateaus. I'm going to show you a new exercise and we'll talk through step by step some ways that you can change the intensity. All right, so Scott, go ahead and lie down for me. You're going to pick up your light dumbbell. And we're gonna do what's called a single arm chest press. So your knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. You're gonna take your arm out to the side, like a 90 degree angle. He's gonna bring his hand so it's in line with his elbow. And as he presses the arm up, it's kinda of like you're drawing a half circle. So go ahead and bring it all the way to the center of the chest and then back out to the side. So again, kind of like a half circle, exhaling up, inhaling down. So one way, the most basic way to increase the difficulty of this exercise would to simply be increase the load. So I'm going to switch his dumbbell from a 10 pounder to a 15 pounder. You can tell me how that feels. This is something we would do because we've already been working with a 10 pound, right? We've already built that strength. This is maybe three or four weeks into your workout and you're ready to progress it. Another thing that we can play around with is the tempo of the movement. So he's going to go real slow on the way up, exhale, 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 and then sharply bring it down. So he's emphasizing the lifting, the concentric phase of the movement, the positive phase. And now you're gonna reverse it. So he's gonna start from the top, he's gonna to slowly bring it down. Exhale, power it up. And this is just gonna yield a different effect. It's all about changing the variables on your body, keeping your body surprised. Good, give me two more just like that. So this is emphasizing the eccentric phase, the negative phase, good. And rest. Now say we were doing two sets last week, Another way to increase the difficulty would be up the number of sets. Maybe this week we're gonna go for three or four sets of eight to 12 or 12 to 25. Again, that depends on what your goals are. Now, the most important thing to really improve and increase the difficulty in your workout is not just to do the same movement over and over again. So let's see that single arm press again. Because when you first do the exercise, your body's working real hard to figure out what this is. A lot of things are firing, a lot of calories are being burned, but after a while your body adapts and it's a survival mechanism. It starts to realize, you know what, I don't have to use as much energy to do this movement. I'm going to become more efficient at this movement. But efficiency is not always what we want when we want to burn calories. So we're going to change the exercise and make it actually a completely different move. You're going to give me a single arm pack fly. So now he's going to take it out. Whoa, this is like a totally different movement. Now all those muscles in the body are reacting again. It's still a chest movement, but it's very tough because that weight is far away from your center. So a lot of things are going to start happening. His core has to fire. And then in a couple weeks, this might become easy. So give me a bridge. So now we're just going to change it even more, adding more difficult. Just keep going with that pack fly. Exhale, bring it in. <sighs> Inhale, bring it down. And just add it in another body part. Lots of different ways to play. The point is always keep changing up on your body. Always make sure that you're having fun with your workouts, being creative. There's no real wrong way to do a movement as long as you're thinking about your form and your progressions.